Long service is an appropriate description for Dr. Alex McGregor Grant. It covers his medical career and passion for thoroughbreds. Grant sought to make a difference with his patients and to make racing a better sport for all to enjoy. It brought success and honours to the Australian-born doctor who became known as the father figure of New Zealand racing in the 20th century. It's a miracle Grant had the chance to achieve anything, as his grandparents' voyage to a new life in Australia, almost founded on the bark India off Brazil in 1841. A nearby whaler saved the Grants and ensured they completed the journey to Victoria. They prospered and eventually set up businesses in Casterton, where a public house still retains the family name. Medical studies drew Grant to Melbourne University, where he excelled academically and on the sports field, earning a blue for Australian rules football and cups for running. Graduation and a job as house surgeon brought him to Auckland Hospital in 1911 as a 22-year-old. Within days, he purchased Pendoon and joined the Pakaranga Hunt, the start of an association that would see him serve as deputy master for 45 years and president of the New Zealand Hunts Association for 37 years. Grant earned the disapproval of fellow doctors by secretly training Pendoon in the hospital grounds. They viewed racing as a thing for villains. When Grant ventured onto the Ellerslie course and took a tumble at a jump, he was ordered off when the course manager discovered the rider wasn't licensed and Pendoon wasn't registered. It later became a source for great amusement as Grant was to provide 47 years of service to the Auckland Racing Club, the last 23 as its president. Grant loved to joke that he was the only president to be ordered from his own course. That was in the future. First, there was a war in Europe and duty as a captain with the New Zealand Ambulance Service. Grant served with distinction and still found time to ride in France where he won equestrian events. Back home, racing became Grant's priority again, along with his work at Auckland Hospital where he was to become an honorary consultant for life. Grant combined hunt club events with races at the track. He was known to be fearless and enjoyed success against professional jockeys. He joined the Auckland Racing Club in 1919 and started his long administrative service two years later when elected to the committee. It was Grant's insight as a rider that was to prove invaluable over the coming years as the club sought to improve the Ellerslie track and facilities. His days as an amateur rider lasted until 1926 when he finally retired at 38 with a win on Bizarro and the Pakaranga Hunt races. That left more energy to work on the development of the club and the Ellerslie course. In 1933, Grant became vice president and was elevated to the top position in 1945. During his time, the club introduced the filming of races, the photo finish, the routine swabbing of horses, built a new members stand and made a host of other changes to improve racing. The New Zealand Racing Conference also benefited from his vast knowledge and experience with 30 years of service. Grant was a foundation member of the Totalizator Agency Board where he helped establish off-course betting. Grant's massive contribution to the administration of racing was matched by his financial support as an owner. He had more than 100 horses in various stables over the years as he chased his ambitions of winning a Great Northern Steeplechase, an Auckland Cup or the Melbourne Cup. Terrific was Grant's best chance of achieving a major cup in the 1960s. But a virus ruined Terrific's Melbourne Cup campaign, despite the best efforts of the doctor and trainer Merv Ritchie. Terrific was the favourite for the Auckland Cup in 1967 with Grenville Hughes in the saddle, when he was upstaged by the heir apparent David Peake on Royal Sheen. Retirement from the ARC came in 1968. Grant had already received many honours, including the CBE in 1963 for services to medicine and racing. The Winter Steeples were also permanently named in his honour as the McGregor Grant Steeplechase in 1957. To mark Grant's 80th birthday and outstanding service, the New Zealand Racing Conference asked the ARC to stage a unique race meeting in his honour. 
Grant was one of racing's great characters, who was at home in the stables or mixing with royalty. A fitting tribute came from the Governor General, Sir Arthur Porritt. He said, Grant was a fearless sportsman and a superbly skilled surgeon who never lost the ability to be human. <laughs>